just like our brand would be sewing at my dresser in between takes and be there and sewing and I'm like them down by the seams and taking them in three or four pieces so in the field and after we received the tapes, we were able to go ahead to go a lot more snow but this first time it was really great scripts. Well, the actual idea of a, a home ec teacher who doesn't know what she's doing was largely inspired off of Libby's actual mother. Yes. <laughs> um, my, my mom is a home ec teacher, and she's not necessarily the most domestic woman I've ever met. At home, <laughs> I grew up making myself hot dogs in the microwave because she was, you know, trying to do her best faking being domestic at school all day. Uh, and when she had parties, I would decorate. And it's just, I had never taken a class with her, but I could only imagine the, the joys that it would be. And I felt like that a home ec classroom in the 50s could really exemplify the, the sexism that would take place. You know, I find secrecy very attractive in a woman. That's why I'm going to keep you around. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Well, I feel mortified. I feel wrong and tacky. As if I were wearing pants in public. Ugh. Kyle and Libby were so smart with their writing. They were hysterical. They really just took all these funny jabs at it. And it was so much fun to have to hit those lines for them and be that, like, that woman from the 50s. And just to be able to play that was so much fun. And it was so fun to watch all like Debbie's students have to be those typical 50s kids in their like skirts and the guys in their sweaters and how guys couldn't take home at class. Like it was so much fun to watch them all kind of unfold in characters, but through kind of making fun of themselves. You know, it's a 50s style sitcom uh, that's like a parody of a 50s style genre with a modern lens. She's mean, Mrs. Little, and she dresses like a man. I bet she wishes she were in auto shop with the rest of the boys. Oh, I don't see any problem with that. After all, I'm only taking home ec for the chicks. <laughs> <laughs> there is a character we decided to have Richard. His name is Richard, and he is taking the class of, of his own free will. And his name is Richard, but he prefers Dick. What's your name? Oh, my name is Richard, but I prefer Dick. And don't worry, Mrs. Little, I may be the only cat in here, but I can take challenges of all shapes and sizes. And in the 1950s, uh, homosexuality was never addressed, and we just wanted to have a character where he was clearly homosexual and everyone was absolutely oblivious to it. I tell myself that I'm hitting on chicks, and they think that I'm hitting on chicks, but I'm, I'm at the same time, I'm, I'm hitting on the, uh, the jock character, and so <laughs> I think I know that I want him, and they don't know that I want him because they don't really know what homosexuality is. I mean, you, you take jabs at the sexuality stuff, and you take jabs at the color issues and all that kind of stuff, and it there's a lot of times you can do it and you don't hit it, and I think a lot of the times they hit it right on the head with, you know, making it subtle but not, like, blatantly obvious, and it still got the point across. I definitely think it worked. <laughs> and to answer your question, there's no telling how many Nazis I killed. <laughs> and most were about your age. <laughs> Once we wrote it, other people really put their hand on it. So it might have not been exactly what we, we wanted, but it ended up being really great. In the end, TV is a collaborative process. So I mean, it was our vision in the beginning, but then once the director saw it and the costume coordinator and the other producers saw it, it immediately became all of their visions too. So I mean, in, in the end, it, be, it ended up being like a lot more than I originally expected through the collaborative process. So I was very pleasantly surprised. We got the experience of the time crunch of budget, of finding actors, making sure we're on schedule, having a deadline besides the end of the semester, you know. So I think a lot of real world elements came into play with that. What was just so great about, I would say, the whole experience is the fact that you know you guys as a school allow something like this to happen because when I went to school uh, what in Ohio there was nothing like this and it was just so neat to see all these like you know college kids it's like a very great professional experience for all of them and they all stepped up as professionals and it was such a genuinely cool experience to get to do and I can't wait to see everything edited and put together so I can see like the full episode and the music and everything that went with it. So I was really, really impressed. We knew it had to be 50s. That was the first thing. So we're like, oh, desaturation. That was the first thing we thought of. Like, that's easy. It's not a problem. 
So um, we started taking a look at, you know, past shows like Leave it to Beaver, um, Dick Van Dyke, yeah. you know, show, just to take a look to see, okay, let's see how it really looked. So when we got into the process of editing, after we cut everything together, we were like, okay, let's, it's time for the fun part, you know, make it look 50. So we desaturated it, and then we're like, hmm, I think it's a little bit more we have to do to this to make it look 50s. We thought that was it for a second, so we got to um, add it on the film grain, you know, to make it look filmish, and then we had to add a little tints to it, and then the whole black around it, vignette, to make it look 50 TV-ish, you know, so... That was the process we had to take for that. Usually most of the modern stuff we work on is it's pretty fast paced, it's pretty quick. And especially with this Debbie's Got Class, you're, you're also not just trying to edit, you're trying to give it a feel of the 50s. So just the way things are cut, you know, it's not as quick as you're holding on shots. Right. It's usually wider shots, not so much close-ups that you're working with. We kind of work together, watch a lot of like Dick Van Dyke and all that kind of stuff to see shot sequences and see where they cut and how they cut a lot of long camera shots and stuff like that. It was really great because our classes have prepared us and worked on projects and we've written tons of scripts for classes, but actually seeing like all the technical work that we've done and everything we've learned and how to make it and then having it realized and actually go through the process was uh, an experience that I'm really glad the TV department gave us.